Okay, now as you uh, advise Republicans on this, uh, you, you've uh, become uh, justly famous for holding the line on taxes. And, uh, but, and to explain that a little further, I, I think uh, 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 liberals uh, are uh, competitors across town at the New York Times. They, they sometimes like to portray you as, uh, as, as this uh, force that has somehow uh, manipulated Republican politicians into signing these no tax pledges, when in fact, this is what Republican voters want, and it's what a lot of voters want. And so a lot of them would be promising this in response to voter demand, uh, whether or not uh, you were out there uh, suggesting a certain pledge. But, uh, but, but given that, you, you've focused sure. on taxes. Are you now, in this environment, focused on spending restraint in a, to a greater degree? And here's what I'm wondering is, let's hi hypothesize the president actually did say, here's a real reform to Social Security, here's a real restraint on Medicare spending, uh, would you say that's, that's probably worth a modest tax increase if we could vastly reduce the unfunded liabilities? Because eventually th that's, that's all stuff that has to be paid by taxpayers. Well, we need to reduce spending. Uh, but one thing we know from history is Democrats do not consider the overspending problem to be a problem. They view it as to their life's achievement. Uh, Obama is very happy with the five trillion dollars in debt that he ran up the additional spending. His next project is to get us to raise taxes, to, to get Republicans to put their fingerprints on tax increases to pay for his bigger government. So I don't lose any sleep that Obama might come up with a tax, uh, with a spending restraint that would tempt people to vote for higher taxes in return. We lived through that with Reagan in 1982, uh, when three dollars of phony spending cuts were promised for every one dollar a very real tax increase then eight years later bush fell for the same trick shame on him for for falling for the lucy and the football the second time where he was promised two dollars of imaginary uh spending restraint for every dollar of tax increase uh and the idea that the democrats are once again uh, going to offer phony spending cuts for real tax increases is all the president has done for the last three years of his presidency. So that's right. not going to um, uh, be the problem. Well, this is the, what I wonder. A lot of focus on whether Republicans are going to break their pledge, but the whole, the whole discussion has been, will they break their pledge in return for some entitlement deal? He's not offering any entitlement deal. So all of, right. this, all of this focus is possibly irrelevant, but uh, we got to wrap yeah. it up. But you mentioned the, the leverage points. Uh, debt ceiling limit, that's obviously got some political cost. If, if people uh, get upset, they get worried the country's going to default. Uh, you don't fund the government, people get worried it might shut down. But I think the sequester is just pure leverage for Republicans. I hope they realize the, uh, the powerful tool they have. Uh, and, in and the continuing resolution, because that, that's very easy to do for a week, two weeks. It's, it's not as big a weapon as the debt ceiling, but it's almost as effective over time. Okay, thanks Grover.